Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys a free downloadable that you can get from my website to help make some fun things to celebrate the new year of 2019. This year is going to be the year of the boar and I've shared with you guys some other cute little projects in the design itself and I wanted to share with you guys another fun little thing that you can make where you can put together two little boxes to make your own little gift box. And it has the little butt of the boar here and then the front side as well. And you can have them kind of be like this, just opening on their own. Or you can secure them, which I'll show you guys when I fold it all together here. Now, there's uh, some nice kind of royal colors, if you will. Nice good ones to celebrate the new year. A uh, dark blue, green, kind of a... Uh, um, sort of a dark turquoise, I guess, if you would, and a gold, and then the red. So I thought I'd just show you guys really quickly here how to fold it and put it together so that you can see how it is. So um, all you need when you download this from the website is you get a um, you get two sheets of origami paper that you have to cut out along the dotted lines, and then you get this kind of a piece of paper to work with. And what we're going to do is we're just going to make a basic box. So if we uh, take this one, now both of these are slightly different. One you'll see the boar is facing up like this way and the other way his head will be down this way. Uh, we fold them the same and then I'll show you guys when we piece things together how uh, you line them up a little differently to make the top and the bottom. So what we're going to do is just start here with this piece of paper with the color side facing down. And I just want to start by folding my paper in half open it up and fold it in half again. Open it up again and now we're going to do what's called a blitz base by folding each of these little points into the center. And I'll do that for all four sides. Once that's finished you have something that looks like this. And we want to have it so that the uh, bore design is on both of the sides and not the top and bottom. And then I'm just going to fold this side in towards the center where all those points meet. So I just fold this over and then line everything up at the top and the bottom to make a nice crease. Turn it around and do the same thing on the other side as well. So we get something like this. Now I'm just going to open both of these sides up and pull all this out and we're just going to focus now on this center part. Now I'm going to take this tip and fold it back just because it makes it a little easier for the next fold. What I want to do is actually roll all of this towards the center and because I've already folded that little flap part back it makes it a little easier to do without it kind of mushing out everywhere. So that's going to be one side of our box basically. I'm going to turn it around and I'll do the other side as well. I'm just going to fold this part back and then fold up to the center. Make sure that these lines all line up here as you're doing this and it's nice and straight. And you should then have two sides of your box completed. Now uh, I'm going to go ahead and flatten this part and push it up to create one of the other sides. And you'll notice there's a diagonal crease here. I'm just gonna use that by pushing in and making that crease clear so that this side comes up to the edge. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side too and then you can go ahead and take everything and just fold over and push in the uh, flap into the center bottom part of this box. And I'll do the same thing on this side too. Uh, sometimes you can push both of them together and just fold it up right away or you can take time to crease each one. But it should go fairly easy for you because we've already kind of made the creases. So this gives us our completed box. And I'm not gonna worry too much about making it all perfect right now because we're going to actually piece these together. This is the other one that I've already made. And you can tell he, we have a face here and his tail on the other side. And this one we have basically feet on both sides. This is the front. You can tell it is a front because there's his face there too. But basically you will be lining these up like this to create the box. So what I wanna do is in the back, I want to create the hinge. So if we're looking at the piece that has his head, and I look on the opposite side to his rear picture there, I'm gonna fold out the whole flap of that part so you can see the whole bit of artwork there. And then I'm just gonna take this flap and fold it under. So I get this nice non-interrupted kind of image of the artwork on the back there. Then I'm gonna take the other box that I have and the other side that is the uh, rear or the uh, butt, if you will, <laughs> and I'm gonna pull that out too. This one I'm gonna keep 
pointed and with the white side not folded over. If we take this part and I kind of open it up so that these flaps are sort of standing up, then I can lay this right inside. And basically, this point that is with this thing here is going to come to these other three points in the middle there. These hinges are both going to line up here. You want it to be lined up as good as you can make it. And you can kind of check on things on the other side because you should have it so that you barely see any of the uh, other artwork there on the other side. So get this in here really good. Once it's nice, you can kind of fold it back a little like this to pinch it and secure it and make sure that all those sides are the way they need to be. So now I've created a hinged box, if you will, and it can close and open nicely as a gift box. And you can just leave it like that if you want. You can put a little bit of tape on it or wrap it with a bow. It's up to you of how you'd like it to be. But I wanted to show you guys really quickly one way where you can create a little uh, cut in the box so that you can slide the tip inside to close it off yourself. I'm gonna take this part here that we have for his face, open the flap out, and we're just gonna fold it down, and then I'm gonna fold each of these corners down here to create a point. This is going to be like the tab that I'm going to then use to slide into the little slot that I'll cut off on the other side. So you can kind of imagine, if we look at it this way, this part would be sliding then into this part here. So then I have this part, and that's the part that I want to make sure to put a little line of where I want to cut. And uh, I don't want to cut through all the box, I just want to cut through this area that I'm working with. So if we open everything up here a little bit, and I know that I want to make that cut right here, and you can take like a ruler, if you like, and um, try to make the cut there. So I'm going to take and make a line here. Everything's kind of falling apart. <laughs> it's okay. We can put it back together in a second. Uh, I'm going to make the line right around on that uh, little area of the box. I'll put a little line right around in here. Try to make it parallel with everything that you already have there. And then I'm just going to cut right along that line. Make sure you're working on a surface that you can cut so that you don't accidentally cut your desk. And then I could just put all this back together again. And you should have this nice little slit down here for where you can put your uh, the tip of your box, basically. Now, uh, as a lot of times happens when you do this, you wind up having it kind of fall apart from when you put it together before. So all we need to do is just piece it back together again. Piece the hinge back together again. Make sure that's the way we want it. And then I can just bring this top part up and slide this guy right in here. Sometimes that can be a little tricky. It's not behaving today. There we go. <laughs> and you get a kind of nice little notch of where you can slide your box lid into. And um, you know, it creates a nice little way to close off the box when you're finished to create a nice little finished uh, piece that you can then use to hold gifts and such for the new year. So if you're having a nice little new year party and you want to celebrate the animal this year, which is the boar, then you can go ahead and make some of these fun little boxes to use to hold goodies and stuff in if you like. The uh, downloadable is free on my website. There's a link to that in the description below. You can also click on that little information circle throughout the video. That'll take you there too. Um, and I have lots of other items there, not only to, like I said, the, the designs that I showed you guys before to share for uh, the year 2019, but previous years as well. Um, if there's any animal there that you just happen to like, you can make your own boxes for that too. So uh, check all that out and I'll have some more fun things to share with you guys in the days to come. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.